uh, what made you decide to do what you're doing right now? Well, I started doing magic when I was very young. I was about five or six. So I don't really remember much without magic. I've kind of always done it. But at first it was just a hobby. And I, I know that I had lots of interests, like mechanics, theatre, mathematics, chemistry. I was interested in those kinds of things. And magic is like the meeting point where they all meet. So for me it's really interesting to explore all my other interests, but through magic. I get to look at, one day I'm looking at engineering problems, and the next day I'm looking at psychological studies. So it's always interesting, and it just kind of kept playing in my mind that if I could make that into a career, it would be the ideal career for me. And then when I started getting offered work, then it was the only, I never even considered another job. And, um, and that's that, and now I get to travel the world. You know, it's, it's really the best thing that could have happened. N not everyone can do what you do. Yeah. Uh, what are the qualities do you think uh, makes a great magician? It's a good question. Um, well, I think you have to be very interested in the world. You have to find... It's about the relationship with mystery. So you have to be, you have to want to know the answers, but also be prepared to accept the fact that there aren't always answers in life. And sometimes when people are learning magic, they become too interested in the secrets, too interested in the knowledge, and they forget what it's like to be an audience member experiencing the mystery. So I suppose the, the types of traits that are ideal are, yeah, curiosity is the main one. Curiosity and also, to realize that magic is not really about the performer. It's not really about the magician, it's really about the audience. Because it only happens in the minds of the audience. And everybody's mind is different. So everybody's experience is different. And I think it's very important to realize mag magic is a gift. You give people a gift. You don't, you don't try to prove how much cleverer you are than people, because you're not. You, know, you never know in an audience what people are in your audience, you don't know that you might have some of the most clever and interesting people in the world could be sitting in front of you. So instead you have to treat it as, I'm going to give you a gift, we're going to play a game together, 